Welcome back to Innocence Tarot. We're going to use the love and romance journey of Queen Sugar. And we're going to sit up here and see what's going on with Divine Masculine. After I finish shuffling, y'all know that I will turn down the music once I finish shuffling. Okay, let's get into this energy. Y'all push that like button real quick. Okay, we're about to get into this energy. I hope everybody is doing well. Okay. Okay. Let's get into this energy. Okay. It looks like it's something that Divine Master has been sitting up here soul searching, trying to figure out on how to tell you about a child that he has had. Okay. Divine Master could have had a child recently. Okay. This child could be from <clears throat> newborn to three years old is something that he wants to tell you about some unspoken truth that he has not told you about. Divine Master been trying to set up here in soul search and figure out on how he's going to tell you this information, okay? Divine Master trying to set up here and be cautious on how he sits up here and handles the situation, okay? But Divine Masculine is trying to get up the strength and courage to be able to come to you and talk to you about what is going on, okay? Divine Feminine, 
you have not sat up here and dealt with your divine masculine in a minute because he has stopped making the effort, okay? And once he stopped making the effort, you put your guard up, okay? You ain't been sitting up here worried about your divine masculine. You felt like divine masculine was playing games, okay? You felt like he was wasting your time and he wasn't making the effort and you said you wasn't going to make the effort, okay? And you didn't. You put your guard up, okay? Divine masculine could have sat up here and came back around this summer. You and your divine masculine could have sat up here and at least been speaking on speaking terms, but you guys have reunited for some type of reason in the summer, okay? But it looked like the relationship has stopped, okay, ever since Divine Masculine stopped sitting up here making the effort within the connection, okay? You put your guard back up, even though y'all had just reconnected, okay? Divine Masculine knows that you is his true love, but he continues to sit up here and wear a mask, okay? And as he continues to wear a mask, this is the reason why you walked away from your Divine Masculine, okay? He wasn't willing to take the mask off. He wasn't willing to sit up here and get on the same page as you. Even though you and your divine masculine know that you guys are, you know, true love partners, that you know that is that you guys have feelings for each other, you walked away due due to him study wearing that mask, okay? Divine Fem, you have came to the conclusion that, hey, if you gotta be alone this winter. You say you're going to get to doing more shadow work on yourself. You're going to be gentle with yourself, and you plan on just working on yourself this winter, okay? This is where your mind is. You, your mind is on healing, working on yourself, working through your shadow side, being able to be in forgiveness, being able to eat better, feel better. You're sitting up here going um, to put the work inside you, Okay. Divine feminine, divine masculine, you tired of divine masculine um, leading you on, okay, giving you dreams and illusions, okay, even though you know this is a sacred connection between you and your divine masculine, you will not let him lie and play games with you anymore, okay. Your divine masculine is going to sit up here and reach out, okay, he's going to reach out and talk to you. In the, <clears throat> within the next seven to ten days, okay? He's going to reach out to you because he's feeling extra wounded. His feelings is extra hurt. He wants to reconcile with you again. He wants to sit up here and be in your energy, okay? Your divine masculine is longing for you. He's trying to sit up here and be gentle with himself, but he is trying to sit up here and find a way to be able to have freedom to get to you. The reason why he feels like he does not have freedom is because he has married someone, okay? Divine Masculine is married, okay? Whoever this Divine Masculine is, okay? Hold on. Yeah, Divine Masculine is married, okay? So he's he wants to sit up here and walk away from this marriage, okay? Something's going on within the union that Divine Masculine don't want to sit up here and deal with his wife, okay? Divine Masculine's having all kind of thoughts and memories of you, even though he's married to this karmic, okay? Divine Masculine wants to sit up here and reunite with you yet again, okay? Divine Masculine can't get you off his mind. Why? Because you his twin flame, you is his real true love. When he runs from you, he's just running from himself, and he's starting to realize that. Okay? When he runs from you, he ain't doing nothing but hurting his own damn self. He ain't just hurting you. So Divine Masculine is feeling some type of way right now. He wants to reunite with you, okay? Yes, Divine Masculine is um, transforming and ready to make necessary decisions on what he needs to sit up here and do. And what Divine Masculine knows that he needs to do is that he has to walk away from the karmic and he has to sit up here and make the necessary effort to be able 
to be on the same page with you. He knows that he has to make some different decisions and handle things in a different way, okay? Divine Masculine knows that you were annoyed with him. Divine Masculine knows that you have sit up here and gave up on this connection. You felt like Divine Masculine made his final move to the bullshit, and you just didn't kick Divine Masculine to the curb. You was very annoyed with your Divine Masculine and how he... And how he continued to sit up here and handle the situation, not making the effort, not reaching out, not communicating, sitting up here treating you just like some bitch on the street, like he didn't have to reach out to communicate what was going on. And you just have had enough, okay? You're just very annoyed with Divine Masculine, okay? And you're very annoyed that he ain't sitting up here, been trying to sit up here and take that mask off, okay? This is the reason why you sat up here and walked away from your Divine Masculine, because of those games that he continues to play. He continues to want to wear that mask, okay? Yep. Divine Masculine wants to make things right with you, and he wants to take you on a date. Okay, Divine Master wants to sit up here and start a new pathway with you and make things right. You feel like taking you out on a date and hanging out. That would be the first step in order for you to let down your guard. Okay, he's hoping that you wish that you will let down your guard and let him take you out on a date. Okay, Divine Feminine, you is stopping any type of energy. And hang out with your divine master. You have stopped all communication. You're no longer sitting up here even trying to hold out and have your heart open for your divine master. You have stopped feeling the way that you used to feel about divine master. The feelings that you have for your divine master is withering away each and every day. Okay? You don't see him as the same person as you've seen him as before. Okay? Your divine masculine is very frustrated, okay? He want to sit up here and come in, and he want to sit up here and seduce you, okay? Divine masculine is fiending for your energy, and he's fiending for some of that good cat, okay? And he hoping and praying that you will sit up here and spend some time with him so he can try to seduce you, because he's very frustrated, okay? Yes, Be very careful that your divine masculine is not sitting up here reaching out to you and want to reconcile because he want to sit up here and bust a nut. Be gentle and think this out, okay? If your divine masculine is reaching out, okay? Your divine masculine is still sitting up here married, okay? And he's somebody's fucking husband, but yet he's sitting up here fiending about you, Okay? He don't want to sleep with his own wife. He wants to sit up here and sleep with you, okay? Sprung on the bomb, okay? Divine Masculine, he wants to sit up here and release his wife, okay? He knows that he has to sit up here and release his wife in order to be able to get next to you. And he wants your forgiveness, and he's willing to release this connection with the karmic just to be able to come back and tell you and, and be back in your presence, okay? He just wants you to sit up. He just he just wants you to sit up here and let your guard down. Divine Master just wants you to sit up here and let him make the effort to make things right between you, you and him. Okay. Divine Master been doing a whole lot of soul searching as he sit up here and tries to have the strength to be able to reach out to you. Divine Masculine don't know how he gonna sit up here and tell you that he has had a baby that you don't know about. Divine Masculine wants to sit up here and let you know that the reason that he ghosted you, the reason that he didn't give you no explanation, is because he had got somebody else pregnant, okay? Divine Masculine does not know how this is going to sit up here and make you feel once you hear this information. He is terrified of it, okay? He knows that that's going to make you sit up here and finally walk away from him. Once you hear this information, he feel like you're going to want to start a whole new path. And this is going to be the final move why you walk away from Divine Masculine permanently. He knows that, okay? Divine Masculine is planning on coming back to you and reaching out to you this winter, this fall. Divine Masculine is trying to find a way to make some kind of excuse up to be able to come in contact with you some type of way, okay? This is why he wants to really 
reconcile with you, and it's gonna be soon. Okay, that's right around, right around the um, the way. Okay, you know that's gonna come up. Okay, divine feminine ain't worried about that. Okay, divine feminine knows that if divine masculine didn't get it right, she knows that God is gonna bring her a a partner. Okay, God is gonna personally send her a partner, an awakened man. Okay, there's going to be magnetically attracted to her and only her. She knows that God is going to send her an awakened man that has did the work. Okay, and divine feminine know that that's her birthright in order to be able to be loved properly, especially since she has been doing all the shadow work. Okay, divine feminine really been working on herself and raising her vibration up to be able to attract a high level soulmate that's going to come in that's going to be awakened this is all about to happen within divine timing this is going to happen okay just because divine masculine didn't act right god is still going to send you someone that is going to be good for you okay someone that has done the work just like you okay so you ain't got nothing to worry about. You just got to keep on pushing divine feminine and not sit up here and fall for seduction and let this man tempt you, okay? Because he's sitting up here super frustrated, okay? And he's sitting up here wanting you back, okay? Thinking that sex is going to make make the relationship back and bring you back, okay? And that's not, Okay? And that's why you're not sitting up here paying your divine mask no attention because you realize exactly what he'd be having on his mind. And this is the reason why you walked away. OK, you're super annoyed with your divine masculine study reaching out to you, want to have sex with you, but not ready to level up. OK, you didn't had enough of that. And you have you have made up your mind that you are not sitting up here having any sex with your divine masculine no more. You have stopped all that, okay? Yes, you have, okay? You didn't had enough, okay? Yes. If he's so frustrated, seduce your wife, okay? That's how you feel, okay? That's the bitch that you chose, okay? So let me sit up here and get another dick, okay? Let's get another dick, all right. We gonna use the love oracle by simply spiritual and sit up here and see what else energy. Okay, what was the energy in the current moment? What's been going on within the last seventy-two hours? Divine masculine and this karmic has been sitting up here arguing about different things on social media. Okay. Their relationship is toxic and they arguing, okay? Both catching each other cheating, liking other people's pictures and shit, and they arguing about it. What else? When the karmic and divine masculine get to sitting up here doing drugs, they get to arguing, acting a fool up in the household, okay? They both got addictions, Okay? Some truth is coming out within some legal matters, something that they could be going to court about, okay? Could have caught a case, okay? Anything. But some kind of truth is about to come out with illegal matters, okay? What else? Hold on. Divine Masculine is in super regret about picking this karmic over you, okay? He wishing that he never, ever sat up here and dealt with this karmic. He's mad that he even married this karmic, okay? This is why Divine Masculine could be sitting up here taking legal matters into his hands, okay? Yeah, because Divine Masculine could have finally walked away from the karmic, okay? He could be sitting up here getting paperwork to be able to get a divorce, okay? Your divine masculine likes listening to music with his friends, okay? He can enjoy music. He can play an instrument, okay? But your divine masculine is really into music. He can have music within his car, okay? He could be going to the studio, all type of different things, but he enjoys good music. What else? 
divine masculine better be careful and partying because a storm warning is coming, okay? It's a tower moment that's going to be coming about real soon, okay? Then a lot of truth and shit is going to come out, okay? Yeah. Divine feminine, you sitting up here healing and you got all kind of secret admirers that is, is winking and blinking at you. The more and more you heal, the more and more your light is like radi radiation, like a magnet to other people, okay? People are very attracted to you, okay? A lot of people is liking what they see, okay? Divine masculine is seeing the signs of synchronicities, and he's realizing that the grass wasn't greener over there with that damn karmic. Okay. Divine masculine is going to roll the dice and take a chance, and he's going to reach out to you and text message you. Okay. Even though he's been in his pride, he's going to roll the dice and just go for it and reach out and text you. Okay, because divine masculine see the signs of synchronicities. Okay, divine masculine is in super fucking regret for sitting up here choosing this karma. He finally waking up, seeing what he needs to see concerning the relationship. This is why divine masculine wants to walk away. Okay, this is some hidden truth that he wants to sit up here and let you know about. Okay, divine masculine better sit up here and be cautious. This karmic might not be letting him see his kid, okay? What else? Divine feminine, you might be having a new love that you sit up here and let come over to your house, okay? Someone new you're going to invite to your house and hang out with, okay? What else? Hmm, yep, you finna sit up here and meet somebody within divine timing. This shit's finna go down. You finna sit up here and be going on all type of new dates, okay? Yes, with this new love, okay? And God is finna bless you with companionship. You keep on moving forward. You keep on healing. And God is going to do the rest, okay? You ain't got nothing to worry about, okay? And this is going to happen between the fall, okay? Yes. This fall, this winter, you're going to meet this man, okay? You're going to meet a magnetically attractive person that is attracted to you, okay? That really wants to sit up here and have a relationship, okay? You sitting up here leaving your divine masculine player ass ways behind you, okay? You're transforming, okay, making the right decisions and leaving that player behind, okay? Yes, you have made the decision and choice that you no longer want to sit up here and deal with divine masculine and his bullshit, okay? No. You sitting up here being gentle with yourself as you go through this transformation. You being gentle with yourself and you trusting and knowing that God's going to bring you somebody in your life. You're seeing the signs and synchronicities as you heal. You, you continue to see the truth and you realize sitting up here dealing with your divine masculine, you realize that the relationship was nothing but toxic. You see the truth within it now, okay? You see that your divine masculine, you was just addicted to him and you was addicted to wrongdoing, okay? You no longer want to sit up here and be addicted to this player anymore. You done had enough. All you want to do is heal, okay? And this is why you have walked away, so you can heal. What else? You, you reading tarot, okay, and you watching tarot readings, and you have found out that your divine masculine has broken up with the karmic, okay, this is the truth, okay, you're hearing about this breakup, okay, within um, lots of different uh, readers, um, you know, you're watching a lot of different readings, and different readers are saying the same thing, basically, is that your divine masculine has broke up with this karmic, okay? Yes. He done finally woke the fuck up and walked away from the toxic-ass relationship that he has with the karmic. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep, a tower moment did come about, okay? That, that relationship is over and done with, 
and Divine Masculine finally them broke up with her ass to see that the grass wasn't greener over there with the karmic. Yes, he did walk away. Yeah, he did. Okay. Yep. Divine Masculine regrets on how he treated you, and he's going to reach out and send you a text message, okay? Divine Masculine might sit up here and pop up at your fucking house because he's in so much regret. Your Divine Masculine might need a place to stay. Oh, yep. Hmm, it was a tower moment. Your Divine Masculine is feeling so much anxiety right now because it was divine intervention concerning this karmic, okay? He's feeling a whole lot of anxiety right now. Okay, some shit done went down, okay? Yeah. And he's in super fucking regret, okay? He came, he, he, he just went through a tower moment, okay? God has exposed something to the divine masculine, okay? And he having an anxiety like a motherfucker, okay? Yes. Divine Masculine is finally having a spiritual awakening, able to see exactly where he was going wrong at, okay? Yes. Divine Feminine, you might sit up here and have a faded meeting, okay? the next Your next relationship is going to turn into a, a commitment. You're going to sit up here. This Whoever you meet next is going to sit up here and be the person that's going to be in your life for the long haul. He is going to marry you. You'll see, okay? Make sure that your divine masculine is not coming back around, okay, and want to hook up with you and still wearing his fucking mask, okay? You know that he just broke up with this karmic, so beware of sleeping with your divine masculine right away, okay? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Your divine master could be reaching out to you in text messages wearing a mask still because he wants to sit up here and hook up with you. Be very careful with that. Okay. Divine master still has romantic feelings for you even though he ghosted you. He sees that you his real true love and that he wants to reconcile with you. The more and more he awakens, the more and more he watches these tarot readings, he wants to sit up here and make his way back to you. Okay? He wants to let you know that the karmic is now his ex, okay? And that you and him have unfinished business, okay? He is no longer with this karmic. He feels like you guys have unfinished business, and he wants to sit up here and, and come back to you, Okay? Your divine masculine might be sitting up here letting you know this as he comes to your house, okay? Divine masculine wants to come to your house and be nosy because he wants to sit up here and see if you're in a relationship with somebody else, okay? Divine masculine wants to sit up here and see if you're dating anybody else, if anybody else is living with you, okay? This is why divine masculine going to fake a reason to come to your house, okay? He want to see... If you're involved with somebody else, if you're dating or in a relationship, okay? Divine Masculine wants to sit up here and see if you got new love because he knows a lot of people is sitting up here attracted to you, okay? Divine Masculine feels like you could have sat up here and met somebody, okay? That you got new love around. He feel like that's the reason why you walked away because you met somebody new, Okay? Hmm. Divine Masculine might want to travel to you and bring you some finances, okay? He might want to bring you some money, okay? But he feels that you're mysterious, okay? And Divine Masculine know that he got to make the necessary changes to be able to come in your energy or in your company, okay? Divine Masculine knows that he gambled sitting up here taking a chance starting a family with this karmic he know that he gambled and took a chance and he feeling real dumb and stupid behind it okay 
But yeah, divine masculine is ready to surrender and make things right with you because he's tired of sitting up here suffering in silence and, and breaking his own heart. He's tired of that, okay? So yeah, that's what it is, okay? And divine masculine wants you to know that he's in, he's no longer at a crossroads concerning that snake ass fucking karmic, okay? He realizes that her ass is a is a is a snake, okay? And this is the reason why she is his ex, okay? He realized exactly what she was doing behind his back, okay? Your divine masculine is very heartbroken on whatever he found out that this karmic was doing to him, okay? Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Divine Masculine is going to reach out to you with some alarming information. Something that's going to shock you that your Divine Masculine is going to say to you. Okay. Yeah. Mm hmm. Your divine masculine might reach out to you as he's been drinking, okay? But you still got to read between the lines of what your divine masculine is saying, okay? Yeah. Okay? Because you got to remember that your divine masculine just found out that the karmic had him in a third-party situation. Divine masculine just had a divine intervention, okay? And he's going to reach out to you as he's been drinking and shit, so you a lot of things you're going to have to read between the lines about as he speaks to you because he's going to be drunk. He's going to be a little bit faded as he tells you about this shit that this snake ass bitch was sitting up here doing. Okay. Divine masculine could be in fear of something that this karmic has told him. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, that's what the 411 is. So make sure that you push that like button, subscribe, and um, I'll see you guys back tomorrow with um, some more reads, okay? I'll see y'all back here tomorrow. Don't forget to push that like button, okay? Y'all have a good night. Bye.